All right, we are on the draw playing Rug Delver and Modern, and sevens that include five lands and two pieces of interaction are generally not good hands. Two lands, two cantrips, and two threats, though, is quite nice on the draw with a scry. I don't think we want Mana Leak on the draw here against most decks, so we're going to shove that to the bottom and let the other person have their turn. Faithless Looting. Could be Drudge. Could be Grishelbrand. I believe that's on an uptick currently. That's exciting. Haven't played against Grishelbrand. Grishelbrand. I guess people who don't run into the deck a lot or play it a lot have trouble with that name. Okay. We're gonna slam Delver. Because if we're not proactive right now, we're probably going to have a lot of problems. And it's not like we can sit on our heels and counter anything at the moment. So, whether it's Grishelbrand, Dredge, Dredge Vine, or whatever other storm, maybe Storm doesn't run wooded foothills. I should look at their graveyard. It's Dredge or v Dredge Vine. One of the two. One of the two. Playing Delver was even better in this scenario because. You need to clock Dredge with this deck. They are definitely the inevitability deck. Without a doubt. Bloodgast comes back. You will die. Eventually. It's a little unfortunate that they Dark Blast our Delver. But at least it puts stuff in the yard? I don't know. I don't know if that was right, assuming I actually check. We could slam Hooting Mandrills here which is actually really nice. So I think we're gonna get a forest. There it is. We don't want to scour away our one forest because while we are technically the beatdown, just by definition of not being able to win the long game, they can kill us and we don't like being killed. Exile five cards. I think we're going to leave a land because we have plenty of creatures to get into the graveyard and we have plenty of instants in our deck. So assuming Traverse shows up, we want to be able to have a decent chance of hitting Delirium. Playing Dredge on X-Mage, both piloting it and playing against it, is a little cumbersome because of this graveyard thing they give you. That even if you pull it down, the graveyard stays there, so you can't get a nice square or any sort of decent shape. Um, if they lightning axe, they should have lightning axed before. So unless they go dark blast, dark blast, I don't think we can get punished by that block. And they make the attack all the time because they just get their blood gas back. So I believe you are supposed to block there 100% of the time. I'm assuming this is normal dredge, not dredge vine, because it looks like the dredge shell swapping bug in for where grave troll would be. They're going to dredge that bug. Okay, this is going to be a pain. Stinky is very difficult. So they have a stinkweed imp in hand. I should be writing down what they dredge. That would be a good idea. I suppose I could check. They discard Thug, they discard Imp, they dredged Imp, and they dredged Library into Graveyard. It's so hard to read that log to figure it out. Okay, Bolt isn't bad. We only have the one red slash blue source, so we probably shouldn't have gotten the forest. Yeah, I should have checked what they were on and then fetched out either, a, not another steam lens, but either a breeding pool, which ended up in the graveyard off the Thought Scour. But I would have fetched it before Thought Scouring, so that doesn't matter. Because I'd like to be casting more than one spell a turn right now. We're going to be clocking them with Hooting Mandrills, because like I said, 
we cannot reasonably hang back to block and expect to win a game. So we're going to get in there with Mandrills, knock them down to 12. Hopefully Mandrills and Aberration can get in next turn. And we're going to be using this Lightning Bolt here against the first Stinkweed Imp that shows up. Because those are very troublesome. Okay, Conflagrate is very hard for us to deal with, especially when we don't have counters up. There's Dark Blast again. I think you play the Delver regardlessly, because getting cards in the graveyard is good for us. We don't want to bolt either of these, because that's a waste of a Lightning Bolt. I guess you could Serum Visions, but you also prevent them from casting Conflagrate or Stinkweed Imp if they're spending their time Dark Blasting Delver of Secrets. Okay, Blood Guests now have Haste because we're at 10 or less life. That's a bit of a problem. Can we draw a good land or something? Traverse the Ulvenwald is basically a fetch land in this scenario. A fetch land that only gets basics, but also does not cost life, which isn't bad. We're going to be playing that Delver, I think. Although, they have Conflagrate anyways. We do want an island. I think it might be better to just Serum Visions. Next turn, we're going to play another Hooting Mandrills. We need to hit them. They go to 8. We Serum Visions into something amazing. They either Conflagrate or Stinkweed Imp. If they Conflagrate, we're in trouble. But we could always Serum Visions into a Denial. I think that's the right play. Visions and then hold up Bolt plus whatever else we draw. Tarmogoyf isn't quite what we wanted. It also isn't at all what we wanted. We are going to hit them, though. Even though we're dead in two turns... We're basically dead in two, even if we block. Especially with Confla... Yeah, they only have two cards in hand. Okay. I was thinking Conflagrate were just immediately dead. But they draw... And then... They could Loam. Loam Conflagrate. Yeah, I think we might be dead. I think... Swing for six, Loam Conflagrate. And that's game. Which is bad... But I don't think we win the other scenario either. Okay, Narcomoeba is just annoying. It does confirm that they're on not Vengevine though, because Vengevine wouldn't want cards like Narcomoeba that you're not likely to cast. At least I don't think it would. Can't say for sure. Don't play the deck. But I think they swing for six, we go to four, they life from the loam. We saw at least one earlier. They're bound to have it in their hand. I don't see it in the graveyard right now. They do that. We could have bolted to survive. But I don't think we win that scenario either, to be honest. They loam. They end up at five cards. We would go to one. And we're basically dead regardlessly. I don't think we had a chance to win that game. If we had held back Mandrills, we block one, we bolt the other, we take two, they get them all back, so we go to eight, they can put us to at least three with Conflagrate at their leisure, and they're doing the whole thing again next turn, so no. We would not have won by not attacking. Unfortunately, we didn't win by yes attacking either. So, Dismember is awful. We do not want Bedlam Reveler in this matchup because it is an inevitability card, and we're not going for inevitability. Pyroclasm is not as good as Anger of the Gods here, but it's still something we do, because it's a nice tempo play, especially when your creatures are Hooting Mandrills and Tyrogoyfs. 
your guys survive, theirs don't. It also kills Stinkweedim while clearing the board. Well, it temporarily kills Stinkweedim while temporarily cleaning the board. I might bring in a Traverse because you really want to hit your land drops, but I also might not. I kind of like Vapor Snag because you can get Amalgams and things with it, so it's at least decent. Burn is good. We want Spell Snare, Denial, and Mana Leak to deal with Cathartic Reunion, which they didn't have, but if they did, we would have been more dead. I think we're just going to drop a Thought Scour. So we cut Dismember and Thought Scour with two Pyroclasms. We also might get rid of a Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I think we get rid of Snap instead. Thought Scour helps us to get a Hooting Mandrels or a big Goyf faster. Preferably a Goyf that outlives a Conflagrate, and I don't think you want two Snapcasters in this matchup. Once again, card advantage is not particularly what we're going for. The goal is to not die, and then have them not not die. We're going to be on the play. Seems like a good choice. Turn one, Serum Visions, but if we don't hit our land, we're so far behind. No, we're not going to do it. That will keep. That we will keep. We also won't benefit from the Scry. Hey, they mulligan too. They went to five. Four. Three. Uh, we don't want this. We're probably going to fetch a Steam Vents. Go for a Thought Scour, and I don't think we have turn two Mandrills with Denial, but we also might just hold up Denial to nab a Cathartic Reunion. We're also going to Denial any Faithless Looting that shows up right now. Such as that one. We don't want them to discard cards. They could theoretically have a Cathartic Reunion in hand, but they only have two cards. So they also need a land. And them not discarding whatever two cards they like is very good for us. We can still slam Hoots, and we are going to slam Hoots because we didn't draw anything better to do. Holding up Lightning Bolt doesn't seem like a great play. That's because it's not. And let's get a clock going. Second Faithless Looting we can't interact with. But that's okay. It looks like they're just not hitting dredgers. Of course, we don't know what the hands they mulliganed look like. Maybe those had too many dredgers and no enablers. Ah, oh, we're all of our stuff's instant speed. They don't punish us for doing things at instant speed. So why commit? We can potentially scour into a counter. What dredge cart did they have? Did I miss? I missed stinky. I completely missed Stinky. I even looked at it. Narcomoeba is somewhat annoying, but not very annoying, because Hooting Mandrels has Trample. Neonate. Still not scary. They could use Neonate to discard and dredge, yeah. I don't know if... I could have theoretically gotten a counter off the Thought Scour. Maybe I should have gone for that. Okay, end step. Amalgam's going to come back. We are going to get a Forest. Because it's unlikely we need a second red source or a third blue source. Second green source seems good. And there's no need to take damage that you don't have to take. So we're going to Scour. We did hit a Mana Leak, so we could have countered that Neonate. But we could also counter whatever they do next turn. I don't know 
if we even care too much about what they did just now. I kind of want to play Tarmogoyf, but it's not too relevant when they have at least two chump blockers. So I think holding up Mana Leak is better. They dredge Stinky. What can they play? Conflagrate doesn't scare me. We're going to commit to the board. Hold up Lightning Bolt and Pot Scour. I don't think there's a lot they can... They can Cathartic Reunion and just hit a totally nut sequence. We want to go to end step. We do not want to give up all priority. But, if I mean, if they do that, we still have a pretty decent chance to win with the board we have. And it's highly unlikely they hit that, as evidenced by the fact that they didn't do anything. Okay, well, we technically wanted to play that bobble, but it doesn't matter, literally at all, because it's not probe, so it doesn't draw us the card now. And looking at the top card of their library doesn't make me less or more likely to attack. Yeah, I think playing Tarmogoyf is good here, because they probably would have double-blocked Hoots otherwise. Of course, we would have bolted the Amalgam, but bolting Amalgams only feels so good, given that they come back. Okay, once again, we're going to wait for them. I think on their upkeep, we want to use this bobble. Let's look at their top card. It's entirely possible that they just dredge it away. In fact, it's highly likely, but still, it's a conflagrate. And they could also be trying to draw into lands. They are trying to draw into lands. That wasn't a land. Okay, so that was a good, very good game. I still don't think we want any of this business. Explosives does not seem particularly good. It's basically a much more expensive pyroclasm. Dismember is okay. It's basically the same as Vapor Snag, except Vapor Snag puts things into their hand instead of graveyard, which is kind of way better when you're dealing with stinkweed imps and narc amoebas. Although I guess North Amoeba doesn't count unless they use a Golgari Thug to put it on top of their library. Snapcaster I still don't want because we had a great job of tempo that game, and that's what I want to see. I don't think we want Traverse. I think we're hitting enough lands, and we don't really want the tutor mode. We also don't need too many lands when we're not running Reveler or Huntmaster. They don't usually run enchantments. This is not the dredge variant that runs Bridge from Below. And I don't think you even want to revelry their bridge from below. Huntmaster's slow. Blood Moon kind of works, but it's also slow. And I think we'd rather get a clock and play to the board. Not a lot of artifacts. Still don't like it. Yeah, we're just going to run it back. Okay, on the draw. I don't like this hand. We do have Delvers. Delvers get totally shut down by Dark Blast, though. We can snare a turn 2 Cathartic Reunion, but I think we're much better off with something like this. We don't really want a third land. At least we're not in a rush for it. Probably looting? Neonate. Just about the same thing. Neonate's a little faster for the dredging. They... Okay... They didn't use Neonate, which is very peculiar. We can't stop a Cathartic Reunion, so we're not going to try to. It's weird that they didn't use the Neonate, though. That makes me think maybe they didn't have a Dredger in hand, but they do have enablers, such as Neonate. Tarmogoyf is good. Delver is kind of maybe less good. Hmm. That's tricksy. I kind of want both. We're going to put Delver as the second one because Delvers don't flip off of Tarmogoyfs. If they do, this deck would probably be a lot better than it is. I think it's pretty good. Now they use the Neonate. Discard Golgari Thug. I don't know why they did that. It's weird. Do dredge players normally do that? I don't know what the advantage of neonate on end step is. 
I guess there's nothing wrong with Neonate on Insta. I just normally see them doing it on their turn. Pyroclasm would be decent here. They didn't do anything? Okay. That's exciting. We are going to go with Tarmogoyf, I think. Although Mandrills bypasses the whole chump blocker deal. I think we still want to go with Tarmogoyf. Primarily because we can't cast Mandrills yet. But also because once we cast Mandrills, Tarmogoyf gets a lot worse. So if they end up blowing a Conflagrate on something, I'd like them to blow it on Tarmogoyf. Oh, that shuffle got rid of Delver. Well, that couldn't have been helped, though. That could not have been helped. Okay. It's entirely possible we lose to Narcomela Beats. I mean, it's unlikely. It's entirely possible. We make... How big is Tarmogoyf with their graveyard? Land, creature, sorcery? We only have land, creature, sorcery? Is that what you're telling me? That is what you're telling me. Okay, we play Scalding Tar. I believe we are about to turn this game slightly on its table. Although, I wouldn't say we were in a partic particularly bad spot prior to drawing. I think we drew the Denial? Why isn't that island tapped? That island should absolutely- thank you. Like, misrepresenting the board state. Okay, we swing with Goyf. Still a 3-4. Dredge is nice. Dredge is nice about Tarmogoyf. That thing I said about Hooting Mandrills making Tarmogoyf worse? Disregard that for this particular situation. We go to end step. We can denial a cathartic reunion, a faithless looting, a conflagrate. Oh man, conflagrate for 8 if they could. Not sure why they swung with both Narcomibos. I kind of like holding exactly one back to chump Tarmogoyf. Let's play this island, because there's no reason for us to not be able to play our spells. There's no argument for that. And I really like the spot we're in. They can turn off Denial with Dark Blast. That puts an instant in the graveyard, which grows Tarmogoyf into Stubborn Denial, Ferocious Activating Range. So I really don't think they have an out. I think they just lost to themselves. Yeah, now they're going for the chump blocks. If we were going to Vapor Snag it, I believe Vapor Snagging that Narcomoeba gives us the win. Yep. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy watching Dredge die to not drawing a lot of Dredgers slash Enablers slash Lands. I don't know what was in their hand. They had eight cards, and it looked like they just didn't have enough of anything because they had the one Stinkweed, so they could have Dredged. So maybe they were out of enablers, or out of... Maybe they had a bunch of two CMC enablers, but no more lands? That's possible. But anyways, if you like watching Dredge losing to that while you clock it to ensure that it doesn't come back, well, you probably did enjoy the video, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys come back for the next one.